For me to show you how offline domain join works, I need two machines. So I'm running two virtual machines in Hyper-V. I've got the machine I want to join the domain, this offline client machine here. And if I look at its settings, it's got no networking at all, so it cannot see anything. Then I have my domain controller, and if I look at its settings, it's got network connectivity OK. And also, interestingly, I've mounted a virtual floppy disk or VFD file so that I can transfer files between the domain controller and the offline client. This is my domain controller. And if I look at my floppy disk here, you can see we've got a couple of files here, including a script that will get the offline domain join process to work. If I open that, the first line of this is what I run on the domain controller. And the way this works is that it's going to get a machine called Offcly to join the Woodgrove Bank domain and save the output to this file on my virtual floppy. Notice the djoin extension. I have to run this from the command line, i.e. it's not a PowerShell command, nor can you do this from PowerShell. And now that I've done it, it's done two things. First of all, it will have created an entry in my domain. And if I refresh this now, we can see it's here. And secondly, it's put that file on my floppy disk here. So now that we've done that, we need to take our floppy disk and put it into our offline client machine. And we do that from Hyper-V. So I just say none here to remove it from my domain controller. And then I go on to my offline client. And mount it here. I can now go on to my virtual client. Have a look at that floppy disk. As you can see, it's the same one we saw earlier. And now I'm going to run the second line in my script. It's the same djoin command, but this time with different switches. So we're requesting an offline domain join. We're loading in this file. We're applying it to the local operating system. And we're telling it where Windows is installed to. Again, this is run from the command line, but I must run it on here as administrator. Oh, well, one thing before I do this, let's look at see what the machine's called at the moment. It's called RW Cli. And it's in a work group. I run this command. And we look at what it's called now. It's changed it to offline client on the Woodgrove Bank domain. Notice it still says work group here. It will only attempt to join the domain when the machine is restarted. And of course, if I restart this machine at the moment, then we won't have any network capability, as you can see here. And therefore, it won't be able to get any credentials from the domain, and therefore, we won't be able to actually log on at all. So I'm going to shut the machine down, because this is a change I can make in Hyper-V, but I have to have the machine off in order to do that. OK, the machine's off. So if I just minimize that, if I look at its settings, I can now add a network connector. In this case, I'll add an inter the internal network and OK. Start the machine.
and now I can log in as the Woodgrove Bank Administrator. And that's shown you how domain join works in practice. You can actually apply the deep join to an offline file or an image. It doesn't have to be a running instance and you just alter the switches appropriately to do that. So here I am now logged in as the domain administrator on this new machine because it is now joined to the domain.